is going on everybody tanner pfeiffer here with pfeiffer football thank you so much for tuning into this video we've got some breaking news okay the green bay packers have released i wouldn't say core special teams player but you know ty summers has been released from the green bay packers as of this morning ty summers I never personally thought he was the best linebacker or the most productive player for us. Um, I think he is a former, what round did he get drafted? Um, let's see, he played college football at TCU, selected by the Packers in the seventh round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Uh, he's 26 years old, birthday's in December, it's actually December 31st, but I just don't and never did really see him as a great Green Bay Packers player. He appeared in all 16 games as a rookie. All 16 games as a rookie, he appeared. No sacks, uh, four total tackles. Two of those were solo. That was it. That was it. And 2020, appeared in all 16 games, actually started one game, one pass deflection, 39 tackles, 27 were solo. That's a decent amount of uh, solo tackles. Last season, he appeared in 14 games, 14 out of the 17 game season. Um, no starts, one fumble recovery, nine tackles, eight of those were solo. That's a good ratio, I guess, but nine tackles, that's it. Uh, now, to me, I think it's, what more did he do on special teams? Uh, here, here, here's what he did on special teams, guys. In 2019, he appeared on, jeez, 73% of our special teams plays as a rookie. In 2020, he appeared in 76% of the special team's snaps. And in 2021, Ty Summers appeared in another 76% of our special team's snaps. Um, the highest rating of his career was in 2020, where he appeared on 17% of our defensive snaps. So, and that was when he started one game. Um, he had 176 defensive snaps logged. And last season, he had 29 defensive snaps logged. So really, he's only been a special teams player. And, um, you know, our special teams has been literally the worst in the league for the last, what, several years. Uh, so, I mean, and then we hired uh, special teams coordinator. I always butcher his name, guys. Uh, Richard Bisaccia. I believe is his name. He was with the Raiders last season. Uh, he's always been a pretty good special teams coach, but over this preseason, guys, it doesn't really appear that our special teams has been improving at all. Our special teams of woes have continued. Um, and I saw it on Twitter. Someone had logged drive by drive by drive what the Packers did. Special teams, it was like punt, punt. I, I don't even know. It's it, it, Our special teams of woes are continuing, and we have allowed pretty large returns um kick returns punt returns um it's just it's just kind of been nuts guys um, our special teams still need a lot of work ty summers obviously was not cutting it for rich richard bisaccia so we're just gonna have to see who he who replaces him but i'm if you ask me as a Green Bay packers fan i'm glad we're moving on from ty summers i wish him all the best i wish that the waivers check him out and Obviously, some teams are going to probably place a claim on waivers for Ty Summers. Only 26 years old, three professional seasons under his belt as a special teamer. I'm sure he's going to do just fine somewhere else, but not in Green Bay. You guys tell me your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. My name is Tanner. Stay sweet, guys. See you later.